Hello everybody, welcome to part one of a two-part video review of Boost and Virgin Mobile's first uh, Windows phone, the Lumia 635. So here it is in blue, I don't know if they actually have other colors or not, I just ordered it. I don't remember seeing an option for different colors, and I got blue. So this is it, it looks really good, um, it's got a very simple design to it, and it, you know, it's plasticky, but it, it feels good. Um, one thing that I do want to complain about or comment on is the button placement. You can see the volume button is above the um, lock button here and when you're holding it, it just feels unnatural to reach all the way down here to unlock. Um, sure when you're in a call it's easy to hit the volume but you know that's nice over here on most phones. So. Um, just an odd button placement. I'm sure you'll get used to reaching down to turn it on, but since that's something you do all the time, it'd be nice if the button were, if these were replaced um, or switched around. So just something to note on. Also, this phone is $100 from Boost and Virgin Mobile's websites, and that is where I got it. This is the Boost Mobile version, but it's the same as Virgin Mobile. Um, so let's start out with some specs of this phone. Um, as you may have noticed, the camera does not have a flash, so we'll start with camera. It's a 5 megapixel camera with 720p um, video. There is no front facing camera and no flash on the camera. So two things that are um, bringing the camera down before you even hear about the actual quality. So then also it's a 4.5 inch IPS display with very low pixel density, um, so it is kind of pixelated. And also it has Corning Gorilla Glass 3, so the newest version, I believe. Um, hopefully that helps with drops. <laughs> um, Windows Phone 8.1 with a quad-core 1.2 gigahertz processor with a half a gigabyte of RAM. Um, and 8 gigabytes of built-in memory is what it claims, but I have around 3 that are free right now. Um, around 3 uh, came with the phone free. So um, there are a lot of games and things pre-installed on this which you can uninstall but I'm guessing that's what takes up most of the space. Um, also it can take a micro SD card as well. So this has an 1830 milliamp hour battery which lasted actually pretty well because that's not not a huge amount. Um, standby time was great so again not too much to complain about battery life. All right, so let's start with texting. Um, and I know there's really not much to see for texting, so we're just going to make this quick. Um, so the app is very simple and fluid and easy to use to get kind of a menu to delete. You can just select right here on the edge. Um, conversations are super easy. Hello. And um, everything is very quick and, I mean, this is a nice messaging, just simple, um, easy to use. I like it. So, messaging was good. Also, the keyboard has a swipe feature. Uh, um, okay, down here. And also, it, it was very responsive and can see very fast. So, that's all you need in a texting app. So, great for texting, A+. Now, we'll move on to web. So, the web browser is Internet Explorer, which, on the computer, it sucks. But, on the phone, it's actually not bad. It's very fluid and easy to use, so let's go to google.com. Alright, I don't care that there's a faster way, because I just want to go see Google. <laughs> Alright, so here's Google. Um, and let's type in kdwb, which is my big web page I load. that has lots of just crap on the page. So here we go, quick loading, and we are on LTE right now from Sprint, as you can see. Um, oh, also, you can swipe down in Windows Phone and see, like, control some things, just kind of, uh, just like Android and iPhone now. So here's the mobile page. Let's switch to the desktop site. And you'll see transitions, even while it's still loading, are pretty quick, even with the animation. Now it's got everything loaded, almost, and... Scrolling is good and fast. Um, pinch to zoom is fantastic. So overall, this uh, web browsing experience is incredible. Much better than you'll get on any other $100 phone that I've tried. Um, so that is the web browser. Let's check out the camera. Let's close the app. To do that, you hold the back button and swipe down, swipe down. 
All right. Um, what did I say? Uh, camera. So for the camera, there are two apps for it. There's camera and then Nokia camera or Lumia camera, and they seem to be exactly the same to me. So here, let's take a picture of something. Here I have my almonds in a jar. Um, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. So let's try to get a picture here. And the camera is just um, pretty much what brings this phone down. Um, so this picture actually isn't bad, but um, again, more uh, pictures I took in the past. Okay, that was with the selfie app I'll talk about later. Um, here is part of my living room, and it just it's not clear. It's not super focused. Here's outside. Um, it's just very not good looking up front, very grainy. So camera definitely brings this thing down. And let's see. Um, I suppose I should show you the selfie app, which I discovered. It's called Lumia Selfie. And since there's no front-facing camera, it uses beeps to actually indicate and take a picture. I don't have to click anything, so um, I'm going to turn the phone around, and we're going to try this. And I don't know if it'll get it because the camera's here, but... Alright, so I literally didn't smile or anything, but I just... Uh, it basically centers your face... Uh, and then takes the picture, and that's what the beeps mean. They, how fast your, it beeps uh, is like where your face is, and it seems really complicated. I don't know why they didn't just include a um, front-facing camera. Okay, so that's the camera. Let's take a quick peek at games. Um, there are lots of ways to get games on this phone, um, and it's not super fast with loading them, but I haven't had any problems once I get it loaded. So I downloaded AE Fruit Slash, which is pretty sure just a mock of a different Android game. I forgot what it was called though. So here it is. And I will just play really quick. Alright. So again, super simple game. Takes a second to load, but then, I mean, no complaints here. Everything's working. And I played this once before. Okay, so again, pretty quick. So we'll just get out of that. Oops, that went back to it. Okay, so that goes back to the last app. So if you hold it, then you can swipe down. There we go. All right, so you, as you can see, everything just is very smooth, um, very fluid, very quick to use. And getting out of apps like games, big big apps, you know, it, it's very quick. So. Um, something I really like about this phone, it's very fluid and just seems like a lot more expensive than it actually is. So, that was the first game. Then there's also Game Hub that comes with it, which, let's open that up quick. And this comes with some games such as Danger Dash, which is also a mock of... Um, uh, I'm completely forgetting the name right now, but it's the one that I always play and all my demos here later and you'll see in a sec so we'll just play this quick oh, there. temple run that's it Oop. so again no problems there we're gonna exit that hold that get rid of that and so that was the second option for games. There are a lot. There are a couple included. Like that one's included. I didn't download it. And there are a couple more that are included. Um, then also there's if you go down to G, there's games, which is um, like Microsoft's games, which you have to download. I don't think it comes with any. Um, like here, for example, we can do Plants vs Zombies, and it actually gives you the option to try or buy. So that's like a Microsoft game, I believe. Yeah, the Xbox game. So thanks for watching part one. Um, that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, I will cover some more things like just general Windows Phone stuff and my general opinion of this phone. Um, I'll conclude with that. And then also I'll go over some of the included apps, such as, well, it comes with an, with an FM radio, 
um, the health and fitness app. I'll just briefly touch on everything that this comes with because I know not everyone uses Windows Phone and not everyone's super familiar with it. So I'll go over a couple of the basics along with speed tests and the usual. So thanks for watching part one. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. And follow me on Twitter at funzier one uh, Also, Google Plus, if you can find me on there. And um, Facebook, facebook.com slash funzier one That's really where I do most of my communication. Um, so feel free to ask me questions on there or whatever you need to do. So there's that. And then also I'll post new videos on there. All right. Have a great rest of your day.